Welcome sisters and brothers as we continue in our journey of Advent. We're in our second week of Advent. You may recognize that I'm here at St. Therese Chapel, formerly known as St. Teresa's Chapel here in Akono. We begin as we do all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. In due course John the Baptist appeared, he preached in the wilderness of Judea and this was his message. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. This was the man the prophet Isaiah spoke of when he said, a voice cries in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight. This man John wore a garment made of camel hair with a leather belt round his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole Jordan district made their way to him, and as they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. But when he saw a number of Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to fly from the retribution that is coming? But if you are repentant, produce the appropriate fruit, and do not presume to tell yourselves we have Abraham for our father. Because I tell you, God can raise children for Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe is laid to the roots of the trees, so that any tree which fails to produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown on the fire. I baptize you in water for repentance, but the one who follows me is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but the shaft he will burn in a fire that will never go out. The Gospel of the Lord. So as I said at the beginning, so happy to be here at St. Therese Chapel, fondly known as St. Teresa Chapel here in Akono with some of our parishioners from Akono here with us. The Gospel today speaks of John the Baptist. I can't help but think about David Rudder's song, A Madman's Rant. David Rudder is singing about this man who is out in Port of Spain ranting and making noise, dressed shabbily. That's honestly what John, of, John the Baptist would have looked like. A man who moves away from the rest of society, speaking something that people wouldn't necessarily want to hear. But the irony of it is that people moved from their busy city centers to go to John the Baptist. It wasn't as though he was in some popular place. He was far away and they were the ones to go to him, even with this madman ranting. What was it about this baptizer that attracted people to him? What was it that people went to him for this baptism of repentance? Sisters and brothers, we are blessed by the sacrament of baptism to receive all of the graces and blessings that John the Baptist spoke of. He said he was baptizing in water, and the person after him, Jesus the Messiah, will baptize in the Holy Spirit and fire. In our sacrament of baptism, we receive all of this. We receive this blessing of water, and we also receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And John cries as the voice of one, and very often people may call us mad, people might call us crazy extremists. Very often we're called to be that voice of one, preaching truth, preaching integrity, preaching justice, regardless of the consequences and costs, whether it is at home, in our communities, in our workplaces, in our nation. We are called to be that voice speaking up. And if someone calls you madman and say that you're ranting like a madman, you just take it because you know you are speaking up for God's truth and God's light. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for all of your blessings as we continue this season of preparation. 
this time of preparing the way as John the Baptist asks us to. We offer to you all of our needs, all of our concerns. We offer to you all parishioners of our parish of St. Michael's in Maracas Valley. Pray in a special way for this community of Akono where we record today. Pray God's blessings upon our parishioners, especially those who are sick at home. Lord, continue to bless and guide us that we will truly take to heart the mission in our baptism. Baptized in water, in the Holy Spirit and fire, that we may have that zeal to preach your good news in season and out of season. Never worrying about the consequences, knowing that we're never alone. We always have you at our side. We make this prayer in all our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray in the words that Jesus gave us. be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wishing you a blessed week and see you again next week. I want to say a special word of thanks to our choir at Okono and parishioners here at Okono for accommodating us and guiding us in prayer with the beautiful music today. God bless you all. <laughs>